And then what's highlighted by that white arrow is the lens star Arendelle, which is the most distant star that's been observed so far. So we're seeing this entire galaxy as it was uh, about 13 billion years ago. Arendelle, the most distant star ever observed, was discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope, and its mysteries have been exposed. It has taken 13 billion years for the light from Arendelle to reach us due to a cosmically coincidental line of sight. This, however, does not imply that it is located 13 billion light years away. Taking into account the expansion of the universe, the correct distance to this star is around 28 billion light years. In addition, if the Big Bang theory is correct, we are witnessing a star that burned brightly during the early years of the universe. This means it has a good chance of being one of the first generation stars, which astronomers have been trying to locate for decades. However, Due to its great distance from Earth, even the Hubble Space Telescope cannot be used to fully investigate Arundel. The James Webb Space Telescope is essential for this purpose. But how did scientists even find Arundel, a lone star in the cosmos? How does it vary from the stars we see in our own galaxy? Last but not least, what was so unexpected about the Arundel observations by the James Webb Space Telescope? Welcome back to Space First Space Enthusiasts. Today we have an astronomical revelation that will leave you utterly astounded. Brace yourselves as we delve into the mind-blowing discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope, a discovery that pushes the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest cosmic revelations. Star clusters within distant galaxies have been the tiniest structures discovered at such great radii. Yet Arundel deviates from the norm. It's the earliest known instance of a solitary star in the universe, dating back only a billion years or so. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers made a lucky discovery. Hubble was the first to spot the cluster's gravitational lensing effect on the parent galaxy of the star. Galaxy clusters and other extremely massive celestial objects warp the fabric of space and time around them. Light from distant celestial bodies is bent as it approaches these big objects due to this distortion. Light from distant stars might appear much brighter than it actually is due to a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. Scientists saw a crooked arc in the Arundel galaxy and called it the Sunrise Arc. That curved line or arc, however, held great promise in their eyes. The brightest sources in distant galaxies are typically extremely powerful events like novas supernovas or tidal disruptions from black holes. These are ephemeral objects whose luminosity varies over time. However, Hubble's observations revealed that the object's brightness did not change for more than 3.5 years. The item is so minuscule that astronomers have calculated a magnification of at least 4,000. As a result, they deduced that it was a brilliant star in the sunrise arc that had been gravitationally lensed. The capabilities of Hubble prevented us from learning everything there was to know about this distant star. In order to better understand Arundel, scientists have turned to the James Webb Space Telescope. These are the results of their investigation. The observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope are notable for three main reasons. The redshift of the star is the first. Distances to distant objects in space can be calculated using redshift. Redshift is represented by a number we call Z. When Z is zero, the event is occurring at this very moment. A larger value for Z indicates that an object is further away from Earth and further back in time. We now know that Arundel has a redshift of 6.2 according to recent web-based observations. As predicted, this confirms the early 2022 findings from the Hubble Space Telescope, making Arundel the star with the highest redshift ever recorded. Hubble found the previous most distant star, which was discovered roughly 4 billion years after the Big Bang. Webb also uncovered an important fact about Arundel, its volumetric magnitude, or the total amount of energy it emits in all wavelengths of light. Based on the available evidence, Arundel cannot be a low-mass star, a brown dwarf star, or a gravitationally lensed free-floating exoplanet. Instead, it's a B-type star with a surface temperature of 13,000 to 16,000 Kelvin as evidenced by the data. Based on their temperatures, the stars in the cosmos are classified into seven broad categories. O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. An easy mnemonic for these sets is O, B, A, Fine Girl, Kiss Me. The issue arises when we determine Arundel's overall luminosity to be between 600,000 and 1 million times brighter than the Sun. 
Assuming Arundel is a single developed star, it must be roughly 40 times heavier than the Sun. This amount of light might also be generated by two stars approximately 30 times heavier than the Sun, or by five stars about 20 times heavier than the Sun, each with a surface temperature of about 15,000 K. In their work, the researchers acknowledge that there are other possible explanations for the plots of spectral energy distribution, including a solution using a single star. All too frequently massive stars in our neighborhood have more than one companion. The closest main partners to a star are within 2 AU, whereas the farthest tertiary companions might be up to 20 AU away. Therefore, even if Arundel has partner stars, the James Webb Telescope will not be able to detect them because of its extremely high resolution. New color-only observations, however, have revealed that Arundel is indeed accompanied by a colder redder companion star. Light that has been stretched by the accelerating expansion of the cosmos to wavelengths beyond the range of Hubble's detectors could only be detected by Webb. The discovery of a companion provides further evidence that our theories about the physics of stars are correct. Reason being Arundel would have gone above the Humphreys-Davidson or HD limit if its luminosity were a million times that of the Sun. Above the HD limit, no stars have been observed empirically at least in our region of the universe. The latest near-cam view from Webb shows even more fascinating details about the Sunrise Arc, the most massive galaxy discovered in the early cosmos. Features such as young stellar nurseries and older star clusters as small as 10 light years across can be seen on either side of the center of greatest magnification, which passes through Arundel. The way the light is distorted by the gravitational lens mirrors these characteristics. Star formation appears to be taking place in a stretched out region that is likely less than 5 million years old. Smaller dots flank Arundel, and there are two depictions of a far more ancient by around 10 million years old set of stars. According to astronomers, this star cluster is linked together by gravity and is quite likely to have survived to the present day. This gives us a glimpse into the formation of globular clusters in our own Milky Way galaxy 13 billion years ago. The discovery of Arundel is significant because it may be the first time scientists have ever spotted a population 3 star. These ancient stars have been around since the Big Bang. Hydrogen and helium were the only two primary chemical elements created by primordial nucleosynthesis. Population 3 stars, the first stars discovered, contained hardly any of the other elements we name metals. It is thought that most population 3 stars have already died, and the ones that remain are too faint to observe. Most candidates have been discovered in gravitationally lens galaxies, and they are nearly impossible to spot in open space. Since Arundel will likely continue to be a bright object for the foreseeable future, more James Webb Space Telescope investigations of this distant star should shed light on its true nature. Finding the primordial stars and galaxies has been astronomy's holy grail. If the first stars were discovered, we could better comprehend star creation and confirm the Big Bang model's predictions. The question of why Webb is detecting such enormous fully evolved galaxies in the baby universe may also be answered by this discovery known as the JWST, Early Galaxy Conundrum. Richard Feynman observed the most remarkable discovery in all of astronomy is that the stars are made of atoms of the same kind as those on Earth. This means that the quest for these stars is akin to a search for our own origins. As we wrap up our journey today, a big thank you for joining us at Spaceverse. Your support fuels our cosmic exploration. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep exploring with us. Until our next cosmic encounter, see you.